How are you guys doing? Fantastic. I know it. Um, so, <laughs> let's find out. Um, the full moon is going to be happening on the 6th. So, expect a lot of transitional energy. You know, ending the last year with the new moon. That's kind of dope. Um, but let's see what this all means for you in the grand scheme of things. Also, Saturn is in Aquarius for the last time for the next 30 years, so, um, so there's going to be, like, how that energy affects you as well is going to show up in your reading. All right, so we have Men in Black, and then we have Alchemy and the Philosopher's Stone. So, with men in black, either you or somebody else is observing you, stalking you, watching your social media, paying attention to all that you're doing. Um, it's like they're really fixated. With alchemy and the Philosopher's Stone, this says infinity, destiny, and magic, right? And alchemy is all about transmutation of energy, right? When you transmute energy, or when you transmute metals, for example... Um, they start shining different. They do different, you know, and we have to go through a lot to like get to that philosopher's stone energy, right? Like some, some alchemists work for like 18 plus years on a philosopher's stone. Like never got anywhere. Did you but say men in black? I did. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so, um, you know, you kind of have to go through some turbulence. You have to go through some karmic relationships, some situationships to get to this point, you know, because it's all about your personal growth and getting there. I want to know who's stalking you, though. So, or if you're stalking somebody else, let's find out. Um, but, yeah, this energy of just being observed... Um, Alright, so, we have King of Swords in reverse, so this could, with the Two of Cups in reverse, this looks like somebody that you've, like, separated from, but, um, with it being the King of Swords in reverse, it's like they don't want to cut it off, they don't want it to come to completion, but the Two of Cups is in reverse, and it looks like it's already, like, said and done. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. It tells me that they're they have like low patience. They don't like they have like a bad temper even probably. Um, but it doesn't look healthy, <laughs> right? Um, with the three of cups, so it kind of looks like you're you know trying to focus on your own life, trying to like you know connect socially. Three of cups is all about celebrations and you know feeling good, right? Feeling happy. Just pretty opposite of the energy of the person observing you. Oh shit, we have justice and judgment, right? Those are the court cards. Could be divorce, separation, that kind of thing.
One thing I would like to make note of is it's two of cups in reverse, not the lovers in reverse, right? Two of cups is minor arcana love, right? In the minor arcana, the suits, these are all like minor details in your life, or, you know, little like milestones, whereas major arcana is like life altering change, you know? With the Two of Cups in Reverse, I see this more as a karmic relationship than a soul connection, to be honest. Um, karmic relationships are very turbulent, and it's just, you know, there's no, like, balance or peace because it's, like, two opposing forces trying to connect. One feels like, you know, like, it's, it's just a lot. And I recommend, like, doing research on karmic relationships. Learn about them, right? We have Ten of Wands with the Devil. Alright? Ten of Wands represents releasing burdens or letting go of something that, like, holds you down or weighs you down. I'm gonna go eat. Something that, like, slows down your progression in life. Um, with the devil card showing up. Hey, Ollie, will you shut the door, please? Okay, I'll be Thank back. you. With the devil card, this is somebody who's very, like, toxic, right? This is somebody who's in it for their own, like, personal gain, right? Not their, not something... You know, it's not coming out of the energy of love. And most of the time when you see the devil card in any other deck, it would be the devil with, like, two people chained to a post underneath him. Like, he's, like, imprisoning them, right? It's almost like warden energy. Like, somebody who, like, wants to maintain control and, like, manipulate a situation or, like, you know, it just... Seems like a lot. Yeah, Five of Wands, this is conflict, like, trying to bring drama, trying to fight, trying to, like, start a war, right? We see, like, five people just beating each other up with sticks. It's just this energy of, like, not feeling at peace, right? With the Four of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands is the marriage card. It's also the home card, right? So... You know, with the judgment and justice coming out, it could be the, you know, divorce. Um, with the four of wands in reverse, it could also mean, like, deciding to move or, you know, relo relocate. Um, four of wands in reverse could also represent, like, a long-term commitment. Take it as it resonates, you know. Um... It looks like you've been through, like, kind of a lot in this connection. And it's kind of, like, scary that you're being stalked by this person, to be honest. That's something I would take note of. Um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is, like, you're trying to just let go, trying to release. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is always holding on to something, you know, something very valuable and it's it's to the point where you just feel like you're kind of backed into a corner and you have to let go um with the nine of cups showing up this is like i see your wish fulfillment kind of, kind of coming through here um the nine of cups is like saying like everything's gonna you know come out fine um everything's gonna be all right um Kind of this reassurance that like you know you've been through a lot and if you had any karmic debt with this person it's like paid you know you've done your part you've been through the shit um so let's see all right so let's stop focusing on what you're letting go of and let's focus on this nine of cups. What is it? What is this nine of cups, right? Why is it here?
Oh, shit. So, Eight of Cups, right? Nine of, your Nine of Cups is the Eight of Cups, right? The Eight of Cups is, you see how the Mad Hatter's walking away from all these cups? All these cups represent years of putting shit, like, putting an effort, building these cups up, getting them, you know, filling them, doing your shit, putting an effort for, you know, however long, right? And then having to walk away from it, right? And with the Nine of Cups, it's your wish fulfillment to walk away from this situation. Um, with the Seven of Cups, it's like, I say that, like, you have... You have options in regards to, like, connections. It's like you're not somebody who lacks in that department. And it's kind of like you're, you, you want to experience something new or something that's not going to be so turbulent or negative. Um, Seven of Cups represents, like, you know, there's a lot of options ahead of you and you're and you're considering that you know you're considering like well you know what what's what's ahead of me you know walking away from all these these cups that were seemingly you know going nowhere and then like moving towards like I mean look the cups that he's walking away from are empty right in this eight of cups in the seven of cups all these cups are full, right? And they all have something different to offer. And that's the difference there. It's like you want to walk away from the empty and move to something that's more full, full of life, full of experience, full of love and whatever, you know, because I don't see a lot of love in this situation at all, right? It just seems very turbulent and very, like, toxic, narcissistic even. All right, what else does Spirit want you to know? Hmm. Yeah, so we have the Page of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords, and this is like you've just had a full, like, change of heart honestly like you've just kind of page of cups in reverse is like losing any kind of romantic or loving feelings towards somebody right and then with the queen of swords just being done right cutting it off and the queen of swords shows up with that sword for a reason because she's over it right she's like fine um you know, this could also represent rejecting offers, right? If, you know, somebody keeps trying to come back in with an offer, it's like being like, no. <laughs> the High Priestess says, like, follow your intuition. Also, that's a Pisces card. Um... But the High Priestess is kind of telling you, like, you know, trust how you feel in your situations, right? Trust how you feel in your connections. If you feel fucking miserable in your connections, that's not a good connection. If you feel happy and, like, you can enjoy yourself, that's a good connection, you know? Like, even if there's a little turbulence, you still ultimately feel happy to be with that person, then that's good, right? But if it just feels like a constant stream of, like, hardship and, like, there's not any joy or happiness in it, then, you know, the best case scenario is to walk away from it. Those cups are empty, right? What are you drinking from? Those cups are empty. Um, and I see you moving towards where the cups are full, honestly. So, let's pull some horrible cards. You know what, I'm going to pull from this one.
we have dreaming days. Um, this represents, you know, like kind of just fantasizing, sitting there visualizing like the life that you want in the future, right? And just like allowing yourself to, you know, go deep into that, right? In that visualization. And that's actually how we manifest, you know, by like what we sit there and think about. We manifest more of that. Ebb and flow, right? And so this is like the energy of like, you just like going with the flow. You like being happy, you like, you know, just kind of allowing life to kind of unfold for you. Um, we have stepping away, right? And so, yeah, obviously in this reading, I see this energy that you're stepping away from a connection for sure, right? Like you're liberating yourself. Um, taste before judging. Um, so taste before judging is kind of like being open to like, um, open to like, new new connections right without like you might meet somebody who's outside of like your type or like somebody who you know but it's kind of like i feel that you're gonna find that they're more your type than you realize hey ollie will you shut the door cats. it's the cat i know the cats are always opening the doors <laughs> um but um yeah, so, and also, like, you know, if you ever catch yourself being, you know, judgy or whatever, like, I do, I got to myself, uh, so, like, you know, maybe be on top of it, but, like, ultimately, I feel that this energy is, like, you know, be receptive to new people coming in, and, you know, like, don't, don't be quick to judge or to, like, you know, be, like, no, you know, really, like, open up to, you know, potentials here I dropped the card hold on where'd you go to the east I don't know where it went hold up it was on the ledge okay <clears throat> blue tara chaos will give way to the higher order of love let there be peace in your heart as blue tara looks to her right gazing toward the future she sees a vision of your peaceful protected and authentically expressive future you have every right to feel hopeful, happy, and secure in the destiny now unfolding for you. Nitya Kali. Through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall realize that you are not being denied, but released. There is something new on the horizon for you. Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what's meant to be. Badra Kali. There's not always a need to try to grapple and conquer. Sometimes the need is simply to let go. Just because another has created a certain reality for themselves and is attempting to draw you in does not mean that you must participate. You must have the divinely granted gift of choosing where to invest your energy. Be kind to yourself. Right? So, yeah, literally, like, all the cards are essentially saying the same thing, you know? Like, don't be afraid to let go and release. Um that which holds you back, you know, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, namaste, I love you guys, and I'll catch you later.